what we're going to do is let's work on adding, if I said 5 plus 3, all right, we don't need to go crazy about this. We know that the answer is going to be 8. OK? Thank you. I appreciate your sarcasm, but we'll just keep it at where we're at. So ladies and gentlemen, the next thing we started talking about was what about when we had variables, right? And I just said 5x plus 3x. Well, ladies and gentlemen, a lot of us started getting confused with adding variables once we started talking about multiplying. So I'll go back through and I'll remind you guys again. 5x plus 3x, those have the same variable factor of x, so therefore that's equal to 8x. However, what we have learned this year is if I said to multiply them, 5x times 3x, that is when you add the exponents, right? So that would equal 15x squared. So there is a difference that we just need to remember. All right? Now I'm just going to go through this one more, one more example. What about if I said 5? y squared plus 3y squared. Since again, these have the same variable factors of y squared, we can combine them to give you 8y squared. But if I said 5y squared times 3y squared, we now add the exponents. Give. Would you call that like, it doesn't have like a squared or a cubed name, does it? Would it be quad It's to the fourth power. OK, that is our quick little review. All right, now. Actually, I'm not done yet. So now what I want to do is just kind of go back through. And what about if I was going to say, what is the square root of 3? Actually, hold on, let me go back to this. So you guys remember all this, right? Yeah. You got this. OK, let's just end the video with that one. So that's a quick little review. OK, so everybody has that written down.